You know, guys, I've I've been kind of scared about this day. The 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 Dark Souls like sort of difficulty has preceded all of my impressions about it, and so mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I've been a little scared about jumping into this game. I mean, we'll we'll guide you through it. We we know the ins and outs of this game. Listen, chirps, I get it. The first game it has an edition called Prepare to Die, and you know what? That is scary. And like I saw that in the store. And it, I was in, like, the uh, local GameStop. I saw Prepare to Die, and you know what? I shed my pants. I'm not afraid to admit <laughs> it. I shed right. my pants. I was there. I had to clean it up. I was the GameStop employee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I cried the first time I saw this on Steam, so. Well, anyway, Chirps, we're here for you. Um, I'm going to betray you about three minutes in, but for those three minutes, I'm yours. Yeah, and just <laughs> so you know, if you do fail at this LP... We will kill you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Prepare to die. I'm calm now. Okay. Welcome to Dark Souls. Brought to you by Treasure Games. Oh, cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's, uh, wow. The, the DS compression is wild. Mm-hmm. I always thought that, um... Treasure was the From Software of video games. <laughs> That's right. Right. They also make uh, obtuse, weird games all the time. That's right. Wario World is ball bustingly hard. <laughs> <laughs> they also made an Inuyasha fighting game for the Genesis. For the Genesis? No, wait, not Inuyasha. Yu Yu Hakusho. My bad. Okay. <laughs> Because there's that Inuyasha game for the PS1, and it's bad. Mm -hmm. And for the PS2. Also bad. Chirps, I just want to say, this intro sounds like two songs are playing at once. Yeah, it's weird. (laughs) The band that they got to do this is, like, one of those where it has two vocalists. (laughs) A lot of people think that DS stands for dual screens. It actually stands for dual songs. (laughs) Right, Right. That was the thing about the DS, is it could play two songs at the same time. Yes, yeah, so they have like the melodic female vocals, and then they have just like the dude vocalist like grunt in the background. <laughs> it sounds like the dude vocalist like sort of knows the song and is just like <laughs> kind of like coming in like the 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 and like oh I know the chorus though. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was one of those guys a dog? Wait, hold on, is he yeah. just saying rolling, rolling, rolling? <laughs> It's it, it sounds a lot like he's doing Roland. <laughs> Souls. But no, I think he's like he's I think he's going like Roland, Roland, Roland. Oh yeah. Anyways, this is Bleach Dark Souls. Mm-hmm. Brought to you from the folks at Treasure Wait a second, and Shonen I was Jump. Tricked. Fuck you, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> I was really excited to do a Dark Souls Let's Play, and now you did this to me. Well, it's still Dark Souls, sort yeah, of. This is Dark Souls. Oh, this is where we create our character. Right. Well, they created it for us. It's Ichigo Kurosaki. I like how they have to, like, acknowledge that he's got crazy anime hair. He's like, no, it's totally real. (laughs) It's natural, guys. Crazy anime hair that happens in real life all the time. (laughs) Anyways, this falls into sort of that, like, genre of anime game where it's like, they want to do something new with the franchise. They don't want you to just play through the things you know, even though I think that's what fans always want. So mm-hmm. they've made this side story that, like, takes place in the middle of two arcs, so it can't, like, matter at all. Right. Actually, this is just a retelling of the Cell Saga from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> right, it's really weird. So isn't Bleach the big tree manga that was, like supposed to end, but hasn't had, like, an update in, like, a year now? No, no, Bleach ended. It's just that when they said that they were entering the final arc, it took, like, eight years to end. Oh, boy. So that's kind of how that went. Is this an actual Bleach character? Uh, yes, they're all real Bleach characters. There are no, like, game-exclusive characters. Oh, okay. This, This is Ichigo's teacher, I believe. I don't know anything about Bleach. By the way, just so we can get that out oh early. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, but it's an anime. It is. But I. So when I got into anime, right? Mm-hmm. Like, my first one was like Naruto. And seeing things like One Piece and Bleach, which are basically like 
also Naruto's and that they're like gateway anime. I was like, why would I need either of these? I have Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> the gate is open. And that's kind of like how I was for a couple years until I realized that there are more anime. So. I mean, honestly, you made the right decision. I would never want to get in One Piece. I read that for like years. <laughs> And I, I wasted a lot of time, I think. <laughs> so this is actually the second DS Bleach fighting game that Treasure made. Oh, wow. I didn't know that there were two of these. I thought that there was like a tactics game or something. Or... There might have been also a tactics game, but uh, the first one's called The Blade of Fate. And this is basically like the Guilty Gear x of them in that it's just like, it's like an updated version. Like this is uh, Revelator or whatever. Yeah. It's basically like a big balancing patch and sort of like adding new characters. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, it's basically the same engine. Oh. And you know what I love more than anything? Uh, playing a fighting game with a fucking D-pad. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I've played a lot of fighting games with D-pads. Yeah, but okay, Jay, playing it with the DS D-pad. Yeah, like especially like a DSi or like a, a late model uh, DS Lite. Right. Ugh. Or like the 3DS. Uh, the 3DS is especially bad because the D-pad is just like lower on it. And it's just like, oh god, this is an uncomfortable position to be in. Why am I trying to play Blaze Blue on my 3DS? <laughs> well, that's why they give you the that's why they give you the um, joystick. Yeah, you can't use that in Blaze Blue. Wait, what? This sucks. Ugh. I, and like I hate Blaze Blue now. <laughs> like it's crazy to me when people are playing like a 3DS game and they're just like, "Why can't I use the D-pad for this game?" Like, why <laughs> would you ever want to? <laughs> I love ruining my hands, <laughs> like these folks here. I just miss playing games on the Dreamcast. So here's our first practice match. Uh, previously, we would have gone through a tutorial, but I cut that out for you guys. Oh, oh I God. thought that guy had a sword? He's got a pole. Yeah, he's got like a spear, so he's cool. So the gimmick of this game is that you can play a fighting game pretty normal, like uh, three of your buttons are attacks and one of them is like a dash. Okay. Um, and you do like the, you do quarter circles and half circles for super moves mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But also on the second screen, you have this deck of cards that you can, uh, that you can use to change your battle. So you see there's one, like, invisibility, so you do, in fact, turn invisible. Or you could lower S-press. Right. Lower, um, what does that, what does that mean? The, so the, the bar, so the bar at the bottom is, like, you're dashing. And oh. that goes down, um, as you dash and as you do different types of special moves. So it's to limit the amount of S-presses you can do. Right. And you can also just, for any of the... There are also buttons on there just to do any super move if you don't want to have to learn how to use the fucking, um... Like, quarter circles and stuff. Oh yeah, right. Street Fighter 4 for the 3DS had that, but it was only four moves. So uh, it was useless. Ugh. Hey, is this guy... I don't, I don't like his design, like, at all. It bothers me a lot. Also, I like whenever you beat the match and it said great, it, like, it looked like, it reminds me of whenever I'm trying to do, like, um, like a Let's Play banner and I download the font <laughs> of the, the game and try to make it my best proximity of it. It's like, oh, well, let's just get the Bleach font and, you know, we'll tool around with it, try to make it look good. Right, for sure. Anyways, there are also long segments of them just talking with other characters. I hope you don't mind, I just skipped them. <laughs> well, lore is the best thing about Dark Souls! Oh, you're right. I I made a mistake then. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, another, another one! one. <laughs> 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 well, this one lets us know about a battle, so, okay, so... There are also special battles, right, where it's the, the, the idea is not to, like, beat your opponent. This one, we're fucking collecting candy. <laughs> So there are lots of gimmick fights along with the regular fighting game fights. Wow, this game seems great, honestly. You know, Chirps, <laughs> what you were saying, like, it's basically in between arcs so nothing can matter. Yeah. I'm still surprised that nothing matters as much as it does so far. <laughs> God. When are we gonna play the Naruto game where they just pick up candy for a whole round? 
Yeah, so... In this one, you could hit people for candy, but candy just drops from the sky, and the idea is to get more than your opponent. And, like, you do, like, a hundred times more damage in this mode, so it's a lot easier- Oh, whoa, this has planes? What the fuck? Yeah, so it has two planes that you can fight on. Um, apparently in the first version, they had attacks that could cross both planes. They removed that for this version. <laughs> I couldn't imagine why. <laughs> yeah, so I immediately just kill him. I go to collect the candy. It's great. Oh, uh, sorry guys, that's my car alarm. <laughs> oh, sorry, my beeper's going off. Some one of my patients is dying. <laughs> oh, that's because they played Dark Souls. <laughs> I mean, the, <laughs> they weren't prepared. Yeah, they should have taken it more literally. You must always be prepared to die when playing Dark Souls. I feel grateful for you. You beat me up just so you could pick up more candy <laughs> than me. <laughs> right. Anyway, so like the the map system, I guess they've put together is to. I don't I don't actually understand what's going on in the story. I apologize for not being a fucking bleach scholar. Well, it probably doesn't help to get, like skip to talking parts. <laughs> I thought Naruto was bad, but man, all the bleach characters really do look alike. <laughs> uh, Tine Kubo. Mm, a lot of people believe that he started phoning it in after a. Uh, a shorter time than a lot of other manga artists. Do you play as this lady, or...? No. Oh. No, we're here, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't worry. How many characters are in this game? Um, that's a good question. I think it's like, uh, 30? Oh, wow. Maybe 40? There are a lot, and in the story mode, I think you only play as Ichigo. Oh. That's a lot for, like, especially for, like, a 2D, like, sprite-based game. Yeah. No, this, there's a significant amount of work that was put into this that is admirable in some way. I mean, Treasure always puts a lot of effort into their games. Even when they're licensed like this. Right. This is basically the McDonald's Treasure Land of uh, Bleach games. <laughs> right. <laughs> Put that on the back of the box. <laughs> yeah, so you have, like, a deck of cards that you can change and update. Uh, which you can, I guess, tailor to whatever fight you're doing. I didn't really try to play with that in this playthrough. <laughs> but you love card systems in games. I do love card systems, but the problem is, um... When emulating a DS game, very hard to balance being able to actually play it and also hit the, uh, hit the cards at the bottom. Wait, you're emulating this? You didn't have a DS capture card? I'm- I'm out of this LP. I'm sorry, Jay. I'm sorry for lying to you again. <laughs> First it was Dark Souls, now this. <laughs> yeah. I think we should, uh, our the Fibber of Let's Play. So the audience knows you got that fibber. Can't trust anything I do. Right, I'm gonna buy him a new uh, avatar on the forums. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Soifon here is very fast, doesn't do a lot of damage, and it's fucking annoying. Oh, so she's like the Chip Zanif of this game. Exactly. And she well, loves anime and Japan. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, her... I think that she, like, her combos are naturally cross-ups, which, you know, for a guy who's not very good at fighting games, makes it pretty tough. <laughs> hey, but you know what that meant, and I'm proud of you. Yeah, look, eventually I start to get it. I only did this fight, like, eight times. <laughs> are you sure that this is the actual fight where you win and not one where you restart? <laughs> no, I checked this time. I don't know about that. Yeah, she also has a cool move where, she, where her special move is just she summons ninjas from the sky to attack you. This is pretty good. I was about to ask, does she do that in the anime? But I know you don't know, actually. <laughs> uh, yes, and... Sometimes you can just say no, chirps. <laughs> like, I should have said no to this dang video. First you tell me it's Dark Souls, then you skip the story, and then you suck at this game. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to make up for it by winning all of these fights. Whoa, we get to see... Uh, we get to see naked ladies? Okay, come yeah, on. Yeah, on, on the DS in a beautiful 256 by 224. Also, we don't get to see it. Ichigo gets to see it. We only play as him. We don't see through his eyes. But you guys are weirdos. <laughs> Anyways, he's been training both his swords, if you know what I mean. Rawr. Hey, come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. Treat these cartoons with some respect, my friends. <laughs> so the way the the system sort of works is that these uh, some of these fights have like keys on them, which unlock other fights later on. So you have to do certain things in certain orders in order to uh, progress through the story mode. Anyways, you have to kill this horrifying man. When are we gonna see Chad? The only character I know from Bleach. <laughs> uh, Chad was in one of the story bits that I skipped through. Oh he my was there. God. Monster. God. I'm sorry for skipping over Chad. I love Chad just as much as anyone else. This is the worst Let's Play of Dark Souls I've ever seen. <laughs> I've seen zero. And given that Bleach takes place in, like, the modern world, it has a pretty good sense of, like, uh, representation, given that they have, like, a Mexican guy named Chad, and they got some white people there. It's great. Also, Wait, are there white Chad's... people in Bleach? Pretty sure. Unfortunately, Chad is not a playable character in Wait, this game. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah. How do you have 40 characters and you not have Chad? <laughs> oh, wait, I forgot. Wait, sorry. I forgot that Chad is his nickname. He is playable. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I was looking at the roster and I typed in Chad and it doesn't come up. I don't know why they'd call him anything but Chad. <laughs> right, his real name is Greg. Chad's just his <laughs> Dave name. What is his real name, Torps? Uh, his name is Yasutora Sato. What? <laughs> How do you get Chad from that? I mm, got. Look, you're asking great questions. He's like a Hispanic dude, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> what does he have the Japanese name? Uh, because his parents are huge weebs, and that's why they moved to Japan. He's of Mexican and Japanese descent. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you for clearing all of these lore bits up, Turks. Yeah, no problem. Look, I feel like if we didn't get through with at least some Chad facts, we would have been in trouble. Okay, you're right. You gotta put a little facts. notification on the on the board saying Chad facts, right? <laughs> right. Just the chat facts. Anyways, as we all know, bigger swords better than smaller swords, which is why you're able to take out Kenpachi so well. <laughs> That's Kenpachi Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite Disney cartoon. Oh, oh I guess... So is that girl Ichiko's sister, or do they just both have red hair? Uh, th I think they just both have red hair. Anyways, I, I took some time kind of looking around, realized that I can't really go anywhere further in the story with this. Without so spoilers. Like, right, without spoilers. I don't want to spoil people in case they want to play this old game. Mm -hmm. They could, maybe. Yeah, we'd have to get the green key to continue on with that, and I didn't really feel like doing another fight. I apologize, because clearly I'm not showing off the full power of this game. You but are sorry for I, shit, Chirps. I decided we'd do one more mini game. Oh, okay. So the idea behind this one is that we have to line jump more than this tiny little girl. And as you can see, doing great. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this is one of those things where you'd have to build your deck specifically to fuck up this little girl. Maybe if you hit her first. <laughs> Anyways. So she's the serve bot of this game, right? Right, as you can tell from her great voice lines. So powerful. And... As it turns out, this is the canonical death of Ichigo. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, everyone. He had a heart attack and died. <laughs> so wait, that wasn't the real Dark Souls? 